when I imagine all the possibilities of the swarm. Suppose the impact was a bell, a warning instead moving through a hollow factory. The violence of men and the colonial rituals of their past were a lesson. In the pedagogy of grief, the earth was good. And then history, the stalwart chemicals of its wake still seep in the soil. Would we not reverse that too, if we could? The atomic weight of him pressed so deep into my torso that generations after would feel the soreness of ribs. Suppose my grandfather never struck my aunt, and my father, in his piety to the self-same heaving, did not instead tell her to move out of the way. Because I was born witnessing, and in my queerness still desire the love of these masculine injuries, I listened too closely and was lost. The pattern undulates and recedes. Suppose I became the sound of wind chimes crashing into the other body there on the ground that would not move. The ghost of my future visits my past and tells her, you have to be brave. I could fortify my life this way. My allegiance to the bone, its refusal as instruction, will buoy me when memory is not enough to feel even now the soft impressions of many thumbs. They are not the violence I remember. There is nothing left to forgive.